Welcome to our tutorial on the Instant 3D tool. First, let's activate the Instant 3D tool on the toolbar. Now let's create a sketch. Something like this. Let's close it. Right-click, select, exit the sketch. And let's take an isometric view. Next, let's select one of the lines in the sketch. Green arrows appear. I can drag up and down. If I drag above the ruler, the arrow will snap in larger steps. 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. If I drag along the smaller ruler, It'll snap in smaller steps. Now if I select the space, the green arrows appear again. We've got a green and red arrow here. I get a Move Confirmation dialog window. Do I delete, keep, or recalculate the external constraints? Let's delete them. Now I can drag my model freely. The initial position is calculated as zero. As well, the same is true for the vertical direction. Or I can simply drag here and drag it both horizontally and vertically at the same time. Here is a blue ball. We can grab it and drag it to change the length of the extrusion. Now let's deselect everything. We'll create a fillet on this edge. Telemillimeter radius is fine. Click Apply. If I select this fillet, I have dimensions which I can grab and drag. A ruler appears to guide me. I can grab this pink line too and drag it. This also changes the size of the fillet. Let's return to our sketch. Right-click, Edit. You see the coincident relation to the origin point disappeared. That's because we deleted it previously. Let's activate the Fully Defined Sketch command. We'll use the default options. Accept. Exit the sketch. Now if I select an edge, I get black arrows. As you see, I'm not able to grab and drag them. This means the sketch is fully defined. If I select this edge, I'm not able to drag the arrows up. However, I can drag this arrow out. Now if I select this face, I can still modify the extrude direction and length. This black arrow here, well, SolidWorks doesn't even let me grab it. If I try to drag this, SolidWorks asks me if I want to delete or keep the external constraints. Let's opt to delete them. This will let me drag freely. We go back to our sketch, and you see all the dimensions are gone. Let's exit the sketch. Let's create another sketch right here. Activate the circle command. Let's drop our circle somewhere like here. Exit the sketch. Now when I select my sketch, I get a green arrow. I can grab and drag it. I'm guided by the ruler again. If I drag it up, I see the extrude in the specification tree. However, if I drag it inside, the icon in the specification tree changes to that of an extruded cut. After we're done, we can simply click on the face and change the depth of the extruded cut.
I can also click on this face and move the extruded cut to a new position. Or I can use this arrow. But if I move it too far, I get an error message. I can simply drag it and move it back. Once again, I can also grab and drag this blue ball. I use the ruler as my guide. One more thing. Let's right click on the sketch. Let's apply dimensions. Accept the default. OK, and exit our sketch. Now let's click on this face. Here is my ball, which I can grab and drag. Thus I can easily recalculate my dimensions. Same thing applies to the other side. And this concludes our tutorial on the Instant 3D command.